Let's take you back on board that that old subway car that remains, that has survived the test of time. It's been around for 118 years, and CBS 2's Jenna DeAngelis was able to score a ride on board. That's pretty special, Jenna. It is special, Maurice. You know, I learned this old train car was used during the pandemic of 1918, and now it is carrying our essential workers of the COVID pandemic that got us through the city safely. I'm here with the interim transit president, Sarah Feinberg. Sarah, we just looking ahead of us, seeing this parade being on this float. How does it feel? Well, it's wonderful. I mean, to have the city come out and, and thank the essential workers of the pandemic, and particularly the men and women of New York City Transit, I think just makes me really proud and makes uh, the men and women of New York City Transit really proud. You know, they showed up day in and day out, carried essential workers, carried this city on their back for 18 months, and I'm so grateful. How did it feel to lead that group? I mean, as you said, they didn't flinch. They came to work every day and made sure the nurses and the doctors got around the city safely. That's right. I mean, look, there were moments when, you know, other cities had to lay off folks, had to furlough people. They cut back service. You know, we had to change service for a while to make sure that we could accommodate essential workers and to make sure that our men and women uh, were able to run uh, run the trains and the buses the way they needed to. Uh, but we maintained service and we came up to full service really quickly. And I think it's a real testament to the men and women of New York City Transit that we were able to do that. And the MTA also sadly lost some members. Um, those people came to work no matter what. Which your message to the families of those people? We think of them every day. So we lost more than 160 of our colleagues, and we think of them every single day. You know, we were the first agency in the country to have a memorial that we put throughout our system so families could come and pay homage and pay tribute to their family members. And so the men and women of New York City Transit could, you know, could see how much we valued and cared about those men and women and care about their families. And we think about them every single day. And so a lot of this parade is about them, too. Yeah, we honor them today. If there's one word to describe how you're feeling, being on this float, being in this parade, what would it be? Grateful. Just grateful for the workforce. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time and speaking with us. It looks like we're eventually going to get moving here. Um, this is, again, a great float. It was built in 1903. We're going to hang out here all day, and we'll have another update for you. But for now, Maurice, I'll send it back to you in the studio. Okay, Jenna, thank you so much.